the fire captain team and it is based on our very own Mrs. B. But I, I was forced to give you a disclaimer that what you see is not a representation of the real Mrs. B. She is so sweet and lovely. And we do have her permission to make her into the character we have. So we hope you guys enjoy her thing. We'll start just a second.
and Lisa were all of our main characters from the last play up here. There was Sam and Violet who were brother and sister and were always being bothered by the evil Mrs. Bean. Violet, our life is perfect, except for that Mrs. Bean that's constantly causing problems in our life. I know, last I went to bed feeling fine, but this morning I woke up with these hairy hands. I thought of that it was that evil Mrs. Bean who did it. She must have cast a spell on me or something while I was sleeping. Now I have to walk around all day looking like I've these hands of a bear. That's nothing. The last week in the middle of Mrs. Markling's gym class, we were playing basketball, and my team was down by one point. I stole the ball and was dribbling down the court, about to make the game winning shot. But suddenly, boom! I turned into a cockroach and almost got stepped on by one of the other kids. We really need to do something about her so that we can live our life in peace. Hey, isn't that her over there? Yeah, it is. Quick, Violet, let's get out of here before she sees us. Sam? Violet? Don't think I don't see you over there. Where do you think you're running to? Quick, Violet, let's get out of here. No, Sam, it's time that we should have to her in this once and for all. You little children are so funny. You have no power. Your goodness is no match for my evil. Ha, ha, ha. I'm about to cast an ultimate spot on you guys to get rid of you once and for all. Suddenly, it began to get windy. Not just regular windy, but so windy that if you didn't put on to something, you'd be blown away. Unfortunately for the evil Mrs. B, something went terribly wrong in her spell, and next thing you know, bang! Her legs are sticking out from under her hands. Whoa! That's crazy! What happened to Minnie Bean? I'm glad you asked. Well, all of the villagers came out of their houses and celebrated the fact that evil Mrs. B They bring an equal amount of gray hair just to go along with Am I right? Seriously, you know I'm right. Now we know. You would never train a new kid for anything in the world. We can all admit, there are times where you would like them to be a little quieter and a little better behaved. Am I right? <coughs> Seriously, you know I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have the solution for you. Introducing the new kid remote control. Let me hand it over to the man who invented it to explain how it works. Here he is. The man. The man, the legend. Tristan. The man who invented the key remote control. Tristan. Like my friend said, kids are great. I have one of my, but oh man, she wears me out. She is always on the go, never stops talking. And all around is just a bundle of energy. All you panels out there in the audience know exactly what I'm talking about, because your kids are the exact same way. So I set out to find a way to give myself a little peace and quiet and stress relief when my whole head of hail turns away. So how did you solve this problem? When I was watching TV and had the remote control in my hand and the doorbell rang, the idea just popped into my head. In my hand, I had the answer to all of my problems. What do you mean? Think about it. If you're watching TV, you don't want to mess any of the action, right? Yeah. So what do you do when you have to answer the door or go get something from another room? Well, I guess I just hit the pause button on the remote. Exactly. And what do you do when an annoying commercial pops up and you don't want to listen to it? What do you do? Well, I guess I hit the mute button so I don't have to listen to the annoying commercial. Do you see where I'm going with this? The answer was in my hand. I just need to figure out a way to remotely control my child so I can work with like 50 different designs. None of them. Don't worry, my kid. 
this part now. Eventually, though, I was successful. Now, whenever my kid is running around in a crazy circle, it's like a crazy animal, I simply hit the pause button. Whenever she's telling me a story for like 300 times before, I simply hit the mute button. Does it really work that well? I knew you were going to ask that, so I bought a little test video to show you the power of the remote control. And watch, by the time you're done, everyone in this room, except maybe the kids, will want one.
get the remote controls, I am definitely hiding the batteries. The last thing I want to be is paused. In class, Mr. Rose is always telling me stop talking, and I don't know why. All right, all right, all right. You get it. You talk a lot. I wish I had one of those remote controls right now so I could hit the pause button. I might even experiment with the erase button and see what that does. Hey, that's so mean. But can you believe that those pirates just came in and ruined the game for that dad? All the dad had been through with those pesky kids and that wife. All the man wanted to do was watch his game in peace. I know, he finally got some peace and quiet and then the gang of pirates comes walking in and tells him how the game ends. That is the worst. He must be so mad right now. Okay, so the dad in the commercial said that was Pirate Captain Bean, right? Is that any relation to Evil Bean or Mini Bean who we last saw running off into the forest? Bingo! Evil Pirate Captain Bean is Mini Bean all grown up. What? How did she go from Mini Bean to an evil pirate captain? Well, after she watched the house fly through the air and land on her mom, she ran off deep into the forest and no one has seen her since then. She came across a group of pirates that took her in and eventually she became the lead pirate. She was causing trouble everywhere she's gone ever since then. That's such a sad story. Mini Bean really never had a chance. Luckily, I know her story and I will tell it to all of you after this commercial break. Stick around. Stick around for this commercial break. Watch and learn how you can have a full head of hair, just like Kira Ridge Elementary School's very own principal, Mr. Hilton. <laughs>
One day, the two of them went off into town and ran into Sam and Violet. Like normal, the wicked witch tried to cast an evil spell on the sweet and innocent kids. But unfortunately for her, something went terribly wrong with her spell, and next thing you know, her legs were sticking out from under her house. And don't forget, Minnie Bee was watching all of this happen from the forest, and she ran off never to be seen again. Correction, not seen again until she made an appearance in our first two commercials causing problems with an with our with her gang of pirates. Wow, I wonder how this is going to end. Because right now we just have Pirate Captain Bean and her evil cast of crazy pirates just running around causing problems wherever they go. Will she stay evil and cause trouble forever? Or will something happen and turn her good again? Well, before we see the end of the play, let's pause and pay some bills one more time with this last commercial. <laughs>
As Miss Dean is walking her line, notice the limp in her leg from all the years of houses falling on her. If you don't believe smashed by how society is real and disease, then pay attention.
Nothing says celebrate like a dance party. Hi, my name is Morgan and I 
played the role of hair growth announcer number one and man and sound manager. Hi, my name is Guy and I played Sam in the work of the curtains. Hi, my name is Gracie and I played Kid at the Cafeteria and Pirate One. My name is Brody and I played the punky uh, person and I also did the curtains. Hi, my name is Reese and I was narrator number one and I also helped drop the house on CC. Hi, my name is Connor and I played I played sound manager, house narrator one, and I played kid and I played as a kid. Ooh. Thank you again for being such a great audience and coming to Miss Rose's 2024 class play.